Hello, this is Father Michael Nasser from St. Nicholas Orthodox Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Here with this week's Midweek Reflection, I'm doing something a little bit different this week. Normally, I record these on Wednesday morning, early afternoon-ish, and they go out Wednesday afternoon. Um, typically, I have a topic I've been thinking about for a while, and then uh, I kind of put together some thoughts and then record. Uh, this is a fresh one. I haven't really thought about this, but a thought just came to me a little bit ago. And I thought, you know what, let's reflect on it while it's still very, very fresh. Um, so this is what happened. This is actually, I'm taping this on Monday. So if you're seeing it snowing and you're in Grand Rapids and it's Wednesday, it's not snowing. That's why, because today is Monday. Um, I was taking a beautiful walk here. We have the Grand uh, River Nature Preserve very close to our house. One of my favorite places to go that's nearby where I can go and just enjoy some peace and quiet and beauty. Out here for a walk with Buddy. There he is back there. He's waiting for me. Um, and I was listening to some music. I was listening to some George Winston piano music. And one of the pieces that came up was, it's probably one of my favorite musical pieces. I have uh, different songs or favorites, but it's from, in terms of musical pieces. Uh, it's a piece from uh, Bach, I believe. And it's uh, Yesu, Joy of Man's Desiring. Um, so, Jesus, joy of man's desiring. The thought that came to me was, you know, as a priest, uh, we, we pastors want to help our people find the joy in Christ. And so first, we have to keep finding it ourselves. And then we need to find ways of helping our, our people find it. And we want to help guide them to it. And one of the things we do is try to distinguish between uh, Christian joy, holy joy, um, true joy versus some of the things that we call joy in this world that really aren't joy. They're just, they might be happiness, they might be uh, a good feeling. But the thought that came to me was this. I wonder if within every earthly joy, there is real joy, which means there's Jesus. Now, when I think of joy, I think of spiritual things, but I also think of things like, you know, going to Disneyland or uh, opening Christmas presents, or being with my family, or sitting by a fire, or waiting for Buddy, who's really upset that we're not walking right now. He's not joyful. Uh, but there's lots of things I think about when I think of, of joy. And what hit me was, I wonder if Jesus isn't in all those. Now, I'm not saying that the joy of Jesus is all those things. I think we do have a lot of confusion. We look for um, earthly joy and uh, assume it's the same thing. It's not. But I wonder if within all of those things there is an element of the joy of Jesus. So that whatever makes us joyful, truly joyful, even if we don't think it has to do with God, that there's an element of God there. You know, I look on this beautiful day and I don't know if you can see it, the snow is still falling, falling and it's collecting on the branches and it's just, it's really quiet, which you can't hear because I'm babbling at the moment. Uh, but there's beautiful scenery. There's the Grand River back there. Uh, nice and frozen under a blanket of snow. Lots of things that bring us joy. And again, I just wonder if Jesus isn't in all these things. So in addition to looking for joy in Christ directly. I know, buddy, we're coming. <laughs> Hush, <laughs> we're almost there. Um, I wonder if we ought to look for Jesus within these other joys that we don't normally associate with him. So whatever is bringing you joy in your life, and I hope you're finding joy, I want to encourage you to look a little deeper to see if you find elements of Christ, elements of the love of mankind, the expression of God for us, the Word of God, uh, light of light, all of these things that we refer to Jesus as, and see if we can't find um, a little bit of, maybe even proof, of Jesus right here all around us and the joys that are all around us. So think about that. Look, I hope you find. And uh, if this is helpful, please share it with your friends via social media. And uh, God willing, we'll see you in next week's video. Okay, buddy, here we go.